This one's gonna be on Snipmate. It's a plugin for Vim that can um, basically paste in snippets of code or block of text or whatever you wanna, you know, type out or whatever. Um, so when you install it, which I'm not gonna show you how to install it, because you can just go to your site. And the way I installed it was I, I used it pathogen, uh, and then you can use uh, the Snipmate bundle in that. But anyways, um, by default, they have some of the uh, programming language um, that it has snippets for, right? Like this one, SH is for Bash and stuff like that. Uh, they have Python, Perl. I'm not really a programmer, so I, I don't really use those stuff, but you can do your own custom one if you want. Now, this little dash one here, this one is globally, so it doesn't matter if it's in a programming language or whatever it is. Uh, it will work. Just plain text will work, whatever. Okay. But let's say, for example, we're doing uh, this SH here. So we're going to vim this out here, this SH here for our example. And uh, let me make a new vim here. And we're going to call it, I don't know, YouTube.sh here. Right. So let's say, for example, I have a couple of them in here. And if let's say I want to, I guess my logo here, I don't, I don't know what you call it, but uh, if I want to like paste this stuck, sucker in here, uh, I'm not going to go and copy and paste this stupid thing. I'm just going to type in these three letters, right? And then push tab. That's it. So let's say, for example, down here, um, insert mode here, G, B, and U. And then push tab, and there we go. It, you know, does all that crap for me. And so on and so forth. If you try out these other ones, um, let's say for example, if I was coding or something, I can type in uh, what is that said, right? If I type in said here and I expand it, it will actually expand this whole thing out. And you see that this one is field or input one and input two, and you can actually hit tab to go between them. So let me give you an example. So we type in said, and we push tab, and there you go, right? And you can hit tab to go into the next one or shift tab to go between them like this, right? So shift tab. And let's say if I want to, uh, what is that, find a word in here? Or I replace a word I mean. So let's say, for example, if I had a text uh, and it said like Unix and I want to replace it with Linux, then there you go. That's the code and I'm done. So it saves a lot of time, you know, for me. So I don't have to type out the other crap. Uh, same thing with if I'm doing like uh, for example cut command and I push tab I know there's gonna be a delimiter that I want to use maybe the delimiter is uh, you know a quotation mark and the field is maybe three or something like that so something like that the most common one that I would use or I think a lot of people use um, is maybe alias and you can push tab right and you fill in your name uh, of the alias you want so let's say for the name we'll call it um, I guess YouTube and then we'll just echo YouTube let's spell it right there you go right or, or the other one is uh, also common is function so I type in F U N C push tab and you know I can go shift tab to go between them if I want um, but here we go let's say we do what did we do last time? We did like some JTV stuff or something like that. And games and then tab. And in here we can type in, you know, whatever we want, like RTMP, dump, um, blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. But yeah, that's the, a quick way of doing all the common stuff that you would do when you're typing, uh, you know, either code or a block of text or whatever it is. Now, it doesn't have to be code. Like I say, it can be... Um, your own custom one so all you gotta do is open up your snippets now this one is for um, you know shell script right sh but if you want to use the other one um, the one with the underlying that thing's globally um, if you want to use that one but for our example here we're just gonna type in another one now you can type out snippet the whole thing but actually there's a snippet for snippet so you can just type in snip and push tab and you see it fills out the, the trigger here. So the trigger is the word that you want to use. We'll call this one, um, I don't know, green. How about that, right? And then push enter, tab, and then what you want it to do. So let's say, uh, 
I don't know, um, what is your favorite color? All right, and then you, you know, do a dollar one, usually, if you're doing scripting, but in here, um, we'll do dollar one, but uh, we also want like a word that reminds us. Let's say you say uh, input color, all right, something like that. So it makes sense with the, the sentences that we want. And uh, what is your favorite color input? If you want more than one input, you just do, um, you know, the next one or something. I'll give you an example. And your favorite food. And then you do, uh, you know, is that dollar two? If I do the right. Uh, input, if I spell it right. So there you go, something like that. So whenever you type in uh, green and you push tab, it will actually, uh, you know, fill this crap out for you. So let's say we save this sucker. Save it. If I did it right, did I? Oh no. Fuckers. Get out of this. Let's save it now. Save it and then um, we'll quit out of this and we'll reload this here. So if I type in just uh, green and I push tab, you can see that we just did what uh, that stuff that we did up here. So you can see that it says input color and you can actually hit tab or uh, shift tab to go between them, right? So let's say your favorite color, we'll say green and then your favorite food, uh, I don't know, let's say pizza or something. And there you go, something like that real quick. Um, so that's how you create your own snippets and that's how you use Snipmate with this. That'll be it for this one, okay? So go ahead and go install it if you're using Vim. And uh, for the person asking me like what I was using, and there you go. That's it.